Cristobal in Florida. Couple from Hartford now scrambling to get out of that region safely. This says Connecticut power crews arrive in Orlando to aid with the anticipated outages from the storm. News 8's Natasha Lubchenko joining us now live with their story. Natasha, good morning. Guys, good morning to you. Well, the hurricane has a lot of people preparing for the worst here. Many scrambling to evacuate. Husband and wife Mark and Sarah Linda Mulder of Hartford are among them. They were in Orlando for a wedding and the pair tells us they had actually just moved to the capital city from Orlando to escape hurricane season. They had a flight booked back to Connecticut later this week. That was canceled. Yesterday they told us they planned to drive eight hours to Charlotte, North Carolina to hopefully catch a flight to Connecticut this morning. They didn't know if they'd encounter roadblocks though in North Carolina with many areas they're still recovering from Hurricane Helene. There were many gas stations just closed because they were out of gas. Um, we were able to fill up our tank um, at like a 7-Eleven and they had maybe four or five pumps still open. So we were able to snag some gas, but I'm expecting today most gas stations will be closed. The couple hopes to be back safe in Hartford by this afternoon. And while they were fleeing the area, some Connecticut power crews headed towards it. Last night, Norwich Public Utilities sent two linemen and a supervisor to Orlando, which as we know is in the storm's path. They are set to be anticipating outages from Milton. They are part of the response from Northeast Public Power Association, which also includes crews from Massachusetts. This is the second time Norwich Utilities crews have headed south in the past two weeks with the first crew aiding with the Helene cleanup in both North Carolina and Georgia. The Connecticut Red Cross also sending crews to Florida as well. We will have more on that coming up at 630. For now in the studio, I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Back to you guys. Okay.